Quote number one, those who make the worst use of their time are the first to complain of its brevity. This means that people who don't utilize their time wisely to do a productive task or to challenge themselves at a physical and mental level often complain that they don't have time. If a person wants to do big in life and has a vision in his or her mind, there is a lot of time for him or her. And people who waste their time and don't value it never have time in life. The reality is that there are 24 hours in a day for all human beings. This is true even for the richest of billionaires and the best of geniuses. There is a famous saying, time is money. Time is an extremely valuable resource which if wasted is gone forever. Killing time is one of the worst things that you can do. One of the best examples of time management is that of Elon Musk. He owns many businesses including SpaceX and Tesla. He divides his weekdays between his two businesses and spends time with his family on the weekend. His view on time management in business is, if other people are putting in 40 hours in a week, and you're putting in 100, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. This kind of discipline and commitment to work is rare to see in this world. One thing to learn here is that we should use our time wisely rather than wasting it on unnecessary things. Quote number two, life is a tragedy for those who feel, and a comedy for those who think. This means that life is saddening and disappointing for those who follow their emotions in every aspect of life. In this case, you fail to question and reason in life. Rationality is often missing in these kinds of people's lives. Overattachment to any kind of emotion is suffering. If we act at an emotional level, we become addicted to our emotions and then consciously or unconsciously we surrender ourselves to them. But people who think and pass everything through the filter of logic are always found laughing on their flaws and experiences. They see reality as it is and know that what has to happen will eventually happen. These people think that life is a mystery which everyone solves according to his or her own way. For example, the best of comedians in the world actually tell truths about life in a light-hearted way that is fun for people and easier to take in. One thing to learn here is that the best way to live life is to consider it as comedy and live life in a light-hearted way because life was and will be a comedy. Quote number three, all of our unhappiness comes from our inability to be alone. This means that when you are alone, you are actually happy. Being alone actually means that you are being yourself. In this state, you constantly discover yourself and your mind. You look at reality as it is. There are no distractions around, no judgmental people around to judge you and you are completely on your own. In that state, you are absolutely free from everything. There is no one there to limit you so you actually see your own limitlessness. Another interpretation of this could be that solitude allows you to self-analyze your strengths and weaknesses and gives you a chance to improve yourself. Being alone is also an essence of spirituality which can also lead to happiness because sitting alone, you can see the oneness of yourself with the whole universe. Another aspect of this is that people who are artists at heart have a very special connection with solitude. That is the time that they work on their art and try to make it better. One example of this could be of writers. Many writers in the world are introverts who like to be on their own and constantly build up their stories or piece of writing in that time. One thing to learn here is that we should try to spend at least some time of the day with ourselves so that we can discover ourselves fully. Quote number four, a slave has but one master, an ambitious man has as many masters as there are people who may be useful in bettering his position. This means that for a person who really wants to achieve something in his or her life, everyone and everything on the face of the earth is a master. For that particular person, his or her desires, fears, situations, people around, critics, followers, mind, successes, failures and everything he or she has experienced in some way or the other in life are masters. That person is always focused on making himself or herself better and to grow. This kind of person will be full of energy and focus all the time because he or she will always be looking forward to learning. For example, in case of business, a great leader is a lifelong learner. He or she learns from his her teammates, competitors, successes, failures, customers etc. This helps a lot in the growth of a business. One thing to learn here is that we should try to learn from everyone and everything so that we can improve in life. Quote number five, out of difficulties, grow miracles. This means that people can do wonders if they face massive level of challenges. 
Failures and challenges actually teach people who try to learn from them. People realize who they actually are when they go through a hard time. For example, Charlie Chaplin in his early life faced a lot of difficulties. Born into poverty, Chaplin's father abandoned him and his mother. His mother did odd jobs either making dresses or nursing. At the age of seven, Chaplin had to go to a workhouse where poor people are sent to work and in return, they got room and board. When Chaplin was nine, his mother was admitted to a mental asylum and his father died of liver cirrhosis due to excessive alcohol. Her mother battled a mental illness until her death in 1928. During this time Chaplin and his brother Sidney were on their own. Sometimes they would go without food for many days. In this time, Chaplin started participating in stage plays and improved his comedic talents along with his step dancing skills. Today he is the greatest silent film actor of all times. But he was only able to do this because he kept going and did not give up in times of crisis. One thing to learn here is that you should keep moving in tough times because difficulties are the biggest teachers in a person's life.